Hey guys, Force Restart here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix this issue where your phone gets stuck and you get this notification that says, Home would like to send you a critical alert. Now, this seems to be a bug on the new iOS version and there's a couple things you can do. First thing, we're gonna show you how to quickly fix that so you can actually access your phone and touch it. And then second thing we're gonna do is show you the fix so that it doesn't happen again to your phone. There's a couple things you can do to kind of prevent that from happening in the future as well. So first thing is when you get this alert, you can't pretty much do anything. It just seems to be stuck so you can't click on anything. So what we'll have to do is force restart your phone. So on iPhone 8 and above, Pretty much what you will do is press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down and then hold this side button on the right hand side. So when you do the volume up and down, it has to be quick and then you have to hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo again and then we'll let go of it. So we'll show you what to do. So you press the volume up and then volume down and then hold the side button. So it's going to come up something like this. When this happens, don't slide to power it off. Now, if you we just keep on holding that button just like that. And if for some reason you get Siri activated, that means you didn't press the volume up and down quick enough. So once you see the Apple logo, we let go of that button and then it will normally restart. Then this is known as a forced restart. Now it's different from just simply trying to turn off the phone because when you get that me that frozen stuck thing, the phone doesn't want to turn off. So you have to do this whole process. So once you do that, like I said, volume up and down really quick and then the side button, that message should go away just like that. Now you should be able to access your phone. Now that was the quick fix, but the real fix here for this from happening again in the future is actually going into settings. And once you go into settings, this time we'll go to notifications right here. And then we'll go to down here where it says, home as you can see here home option for notification now you'll see some menu like this or something like this where it's going to be either or so what we'll do is now the reason why home that notification comes up is if we turn off alerts you'll see that critical alerts is turned off is basically if you have the home app and if you're using that home app for some smart devices you might want to keep it on but let's say you don't use that at all you might want to turn that critical alerts off so if you turn that off that notification will not come anymore and freeze your phone just the way it did before. Now again, it's dependent on you if you actually use the home app or not. Generally, most people I see don't use it, so we turn it off, but if you do need to have that on, keep in mind that if you disable this, you won't get those alerts, so it's gonna be dependent on you. So each time it happens, you might have to do the force restart thing we did in the very first uh, method here, and that will pretty much prevent the phone from doing that ever again. Even if you want to go further from it, let's say you did all that and you still get the notification here and there or your phone still gets stuck. The other thing I've seen that kind of fixes it if you go ahead and delete the home app if you don't use it at all. If you know, if you use a home app pretty much if you're using things to control your home, like using the control center Siri and Apple Watch and some other things, you might want to keep it depending on if you use it or not. If you don't, you can just simply press and hold and then remove the app itself so that it doesn't prevent that message from freezing up your phone. Again, dependent on it. You can always go ahead and download it in the future if you need to by going. So you can go back to the Home uh, App Store and you can search up Home again and you can re-download it if you need to. Here it won't show up as you can see here because we have it already open. It's right there. But if you need it again for something, you can get it back again. Now lastly, if you're still having the issue, the next thing I recommend doing is doing a uh, update of the software itself so we can go into settings again and this time we're going to go to general and then software update and make sure you have the latest software update because there is a bug going around and making sure that your phone is up to date at the latest version which if you have a version out you'll say download and install you'll click on that ours is at the time of recording 16.2 is the latest version so we don't have any update to do itself and if you update it of course it'll fix any of that software issue so those are going to be the quick fix and then the long-term fix hopefully you guys found this video helpful if so make sure that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time